Okay, guys. Uh, nearest neighbor classifier. Now, this is a pretty simple one. Let's say that I have uh, two features only. I'll take an example of 2D plane so that I can draw and explain it to you. Uh, let's say that this particular thing is the height. This particular one is the weight. Okay. Uh, I'm measuring uh, a particular person, whether he is fit, unfit, obese, and malnutrition. Okay. So what I have is that, okay, this one is mentioned as, uh, this one is A, this one is B, this one is C, this one is D. Okay. That's how I have represented it. And this red dot, okay, will be my unknown point. So the fit people has a good height and have midweight. So let's say that uh, these will be my fit people somewhere here. So I will have a lot of B here. Okay, so I have a few B here. Okay, there's a very, uh, there's some short people are also very fit. So a B here as well. Okay, after that, uh, let's say that I have uh, some malnutrition people. So the weight will be extremely low and their height can vary from anywhere to anywhere. So let's say that A is for all the malnutrition people. So they don't have a lot of weight. They just have a lot of, uh, the, they have various height, but they have low weight. Okay. And then I have, uh, let's take an example of uh, unfit. Let's remove this category because you're using just three is enough. Obese. Okay. So regardless of what height they have, they would have after certain. So even low height, they have a good amount of weight. So let's say that this is D and for larger height, they have huge weight. Okay. So they have huge weight. Now I have three people. Okay, uh, someone uh, red, this red one is one person that I have need to classify. Uh, then I have this pink one. Okay, and then I have this purple one. Now I have to classify these people into uh, one of these two categories, A, B, and D. Okay, there's no C category. Uh, this particular one, the philosophy that the nearest neighbor say you have to do is that you have to look for the out of the known points, A, B, D, you have to figure out the point which is closest to you and whatever that point is, is what you are as well. Okay. So from that logic that this point is nearest to this particular pink line. Okay. So this person is a dense, uh, obese person D this particular person has a as the nearest one. Okay. So we have, uh, this one as a, which is malnutrition. Similarly, this person has this particular one as the closest. So this is also malnutrition. So that is the logic that is used by the nearest neighbor classifier to tell whether a particular person, a particular item is belonging to which category. Okay. Now here, uh, since me K nearest neighbor and nearest neighbor are something very, very similar. Uh, what I'll do is that I will go to the next slide, uh, and show you what this particular logic will actually have effect on the K nearest neighbor. Okay. So K nearest neighbor say exactly the same thing. The only difference between is that instead of the most similar, we used K of the most similar items and we take uh, the majority vote to put the label. For example, for the value K equals to three. Okay. So let's say that this particular point I have, uh, okay. Let me just clear out a few things. It will be easier to do this. Okay, so what I will basically do is that for k equals to three, let's say for this particular point, let's say point one, I have, if I take the k value of three, the nearest point is this guy, this guy, this guy. So it's d, d, d. I will classify this as d because d is in majority. If I take the value of k equals to five, uh, I'll have more of, let's say that these, uh, for just to show you a particular concept, I'll remove this point. And I'll make one more B here. Okay. So it's easier for me to explain one of the concepts I'm trying to. So now if I take the value of K equals to five, uh, the five nearest point will be this, 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 and this. So now it will be B, 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 D, D. So just by changing how many points I'm considering to make a decision, I have more number of B now. So I have classified the same point as fit. Okay. So depending on the K value, the K value here matter a lot. And that is the key difference that it has compared to the previous one. It doesn't take only one particular point. It takes multiple of other uh, points around you and take a majority vote. Similarly for this particular B, 
I will have uh, the nearest point for this particular one will definitely all the five points will also have a only. Maybe one d, but four will still be a. So this one will still be a. For this particular point as well, I will have at least three a and two b. So at the best four a. Uh, these two will not change, but this particular one will change if I increase the value of k. Okay. It has certain drawbacks, and when it comes to those drawbacks discussion, we will get to that as well. But uh that is what you need to understand between the uh, for the difference between k nearest neighbor and the nearest neighbor is that k value okay so what basically happens is that uh in a normal normal circle if this is the particular point which i'm discussing the higher i increase the k value the bigger the circle i'm taking okay so sometimes it's good because let's say that uh i have faultily uh mentioned that okay this particular point is actually obese Okay, it has huge weight and uh, that not uh, that much height compared to the weight. I have mentioned it as fit. Okay, by mistake, this is a wrong data. It's a corrupted data, and I have one more point here. Okay, ideally, if this would have been obese, or let's say that there are multiple obese here, but the closest one is by mistake mentioned as a fit person. This one in the first algorithm, the nearest neighbor will be mentioned as fit as well. So uh, there are issues with nearest neighbor classifier if i take uh, only one particular one uh, one neighbor okay Because if that is a wrong or corrupted entry i will have lot more corrupted entry around that i will form a small cluster of uh, outliers okay or mistaken or corrupted nodes similarly for the k nearest you already saw depending on the k value which i choose the uh, particular label will change okay for 3 it was obese for 5 it came to be uh fit so k value knowing the right k value and i still don't know which point, uh, the point was whether obese or fit but whatever it was at one point i was correct and the other i was wrong so we need to fix that particular thing as well so these are the two uh, positive and negative notes about the nearest neighbor in the next point we will discuss about the decision tree